Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin to Tether daily time frame chart at Zonda uh, Crypto. As you can see, I am using the uh, Japanese uh, candlestick patterns and we can clearly see the uh, ongoing uptrend which is being developed since the lows of the uh, 25,000 um, Tethers and these lows were made on the basically in the middle of the September this year. When we take a look at the percentage that we recently managed to achieve on the Bitcoin uh, from this last swing low to the last recent, the most recent swing high, uh, this is 53 uh, percent which is a uh, pretty of course uh, impressive so what is going right now you might ask and how long this uptrend will uh, continue. So right now, if we if we put our favorite um, indicators uh, on the, the chart, which is of course the moving average, uh, we just need to change it to 100 and 200 moving average as a long term moving averages. We have a bullish cross. We have a bullish cross to the upside. 100 is crossing 200 periods moving um, average, which is a bullish uh, um, indicator. Uh, in terms of the uh, RSI, so the momentum, for all of the momentum traders, we are coming off the extremely overbought market conditions after this very impressive 53% rally. Right now, the momentum is still positive, is still uh, strong and is it's hovering around the level of 63 uh, points. So again, the outlook is uh, is bullish. However, that uh, the momentum might go a little bit lower for example towards the level of 50 which means that there is as well a room to the downside on the um, uh, daily time frame chart of the bitcoin so let's just dig in a little bit deeper into our current situation on the uh, on the bitcoin market maybe one zoom out will be more than enough there you go this is the the chart we have right now we already know about the 53 percent of the advantage if we apply our uh, line um, here you can see that the market is moving above this very very nice uh, short-term uh, trend line uh, support we can do it like this not a problem um, whatsoever as long as we trade above this line the outlook remains uh, bullish just recently we have made this high at 38,320 and then the bearish engulfing pattern uh, has been uh, made let's just zoom in a little bit this bearish engulfing pattern uh, made after the new swing high might indicate the market is ready for some sort of the uh, of the pullback let's just then uh, create some sort of the um, important technical uh, support levels there is a few of them not everyone uh, is as important as the as the other one but one of them is 35,111 and this there is very distinct um, technical of course uh, uh, support at 32,982 and this is the main uh, main level for the uh, for the uh, for the Bitcoin bulls uh, one more if I could distinguish one more uh, technical support would be the immediate one located roughly around 35,838 Please notice that um, we might be doing some sort of the triangle pattern. When we take the, um, let's say, the Elliott Wave triangle pattern, uh, there is a chance that right now we are uh, developing this kind of a movement here. So this is A, B, C, D, E kind of a pattern in, uh, in progress. Uh, so this kind of a pattern is very, very popular. Uh, during the pullbacks and uh, when we are done uh, let me just make two more lines here so uh, we stay um, we stay on the same level here um, with this uh, triangle pattern so this is how it's supposed to look like um, uh, well it looks like a triangle obviously so for example if we manage to do this this pattern like that maybe this will be this upper line will be a little bit lower maybe we should consider this kind of a price action to be correct one and then of course after the 
uh, triangle pattern is done another burst to the upside is being expected the target is on the round number of 40,000 tethers <laughs> so that's the target for the uh, for the bulls uh, will not apply the Elliott wave right now because uh, there is uh, too many uh, too many way, uh, things to um, to analyze uh, right now let's just leave our scenario for this uh, for this week uh, as the uh, ongoing uh, as the developing triangle pattern in the way four we still need one more wave to the upside to complete this uh, this uh, recent wave to the to the upside the impulsive wave okay then bigger correction can be expected even going towards the levels of the 32 30, 31,000 uh, tethers but for now we should see some kind of a corrective action inside of this potential triangle pattern and then breakout to the upside is expected please notice the thick orange trend line which should provide uh, substantial support dynamic support for all of the boss that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye